What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Dying Scene Record Radar, presented as always by Punk Rock Radar. Thanks for joining us. Uh, we got a lot of cool stuff to talk about this week. As always, what else is new? RKL, Rich Kids on LSD, Rock and Roll Nightmare. Back in print just in time for the anniversary shows they just played. I'm sure they'll be playing more. Um, this is only available in Europe right now. Uh, there are 500 copies on this green and orange swirl colored vinyl. Uh, and you can get it from Green Hell Records and Rough Trade Records, both in the European Union slash United Kingdom. Uh, so hopefully some U.S. versions start popping up from F uh, of Rock and Roll Nightmare. But if not, you have that option. Uh, someone told me it cost them like 50 bucks after shipping to get this or into the US, so that's kind of tough, but if you want it bad enough, you got the option. Um, something that sold out a few weeks ago, we missed it on the record radar, the Descendants and Circle Jerks split 7-inch that was released for their co-headlining US tour a few weeks ago is back in stock on the Descendants web store. There's the red color variant. It was limited to 500 copies and was available on tour from the merch tables. Um, but it was sold out on the website until this past week. So go ahead and grab that if you missed it the first time. The Shivies, a great pop punk band from the Netherlands. Uh, these guys released their debut album a few years ago, 2021. That's actually three years ago at this point, uh, which I really enjoyed. And now they're back with their second album and a bonus 10-inch EP Um both are available to pre-order. Uh, if you're in Europe, or the Netherlands more specifically, you can get it from Shield Recordings. They have a bundle with both of them, and I think it's really cheap, actually. I think it is 29 euros. Tell me how many dollars that is. I'm not sure. Uh, or you, if you're in the U.S., uh, you can get it from Mom's Basement Records. They don't have a bundle, but they do have both the LP and the 10-inch. Um, as well as the cassette and CD, if you're in that kind of thing. Um, they don't have a bundle, but it is still ends up being around $11 cheaper than if you were to buy that bundle and import it to the U.S., so very cool there. Speaking of Mom's Basement Records, they always put out cool stuff, so not surprising they have multiple releases on this week's record radar. This one is not a record, though. It's a CD, compact disc, as it's known in the trade. From the Bakarudas, a man that I was calling the Barracudas until a few weeks ago after I would intensively read the band name multiple times and my brain stopped auto-correcting it to the Barracudas. Pool Party, their debut album. This band features Adam from Dirt Bike Annie. Um, and yes, it is out now on Mom's Basement Records. I have a copy. I should go grab it and show you guys. Uh, it looks really sweet uh, and it is hand-numbered out of 102 copies. Uh, I don't know what number I, oh yeah, you can see it here. I have number 19 or is that 79? I can't read it. Um, yeah, very cool band, uh, like surf rock, garage rock, um, power pop all mixed into one. Uh, grab that CD when you're grabbing the new Shivies album from mom's basement records. Some 41, uh, they just released a new album as I'm sure you're all aware called heaven in hell or heaven, uh, colon X colon hell. Um, but their last album, Order and Decline, is uh, still getting some love. It's gotten a few represses recently. Uh, the most recent being this one on pink and blue swirl colored vinyl. Um, that is a Spotify fans first exclusive color variant. I got a push notification from Spotify telling me to buy this. And it has a code you have to use to access the... the the ordering page it's called it's a oid exclamation point um so yes the link to buy that and any other record i'm talking about in the description dyingscene.com the printed text version of the record radar the, the misfits earth ad forward slash wolf's blood i never heard the wolf's blood part before but apparently that's what the, the government name of this album is um this is a record store day essentials release uh, still don't know what that means. I've seen a lot of these 
come up in the last few years. Um, yes, the color variant looks fucking awesome. Pink, purple swirl, colored vinyl. They don't say how many copies, so there must be a lot of them. Uh, this You can get this from any record store in the fucking U.S., the global economy. Um, but Lunchbox Records has it cheapest that I saw. It's still over $30. God bless America, $30 records. Um, not a $30 record. We got Golden Boy, um, which I'm going to mispronounce this album title, Quambum. Yeah, tell me how wrong I got that, uh, John. Uh, yes, this is a punk rock radar sanctioned release in collaboration with Apollon Records, uh, Cat's Claw Records, Double Helix Records, High End Denim Records, and P Records. So no matter where you live in the world, you can get this album if you like mid period no use uh and by that i mean more betterness hard rock bottom um etc this album is a must pick up the first single is great john needs to share the rest of the album with me um but yes the first single is great and it ha totally has that no use vibe they got yellow vinyl and this awesome splatter uh both are limited to 125 copies each Remind me to pre-order this along with the uh, the Stank Finger album from Punk Rock Radar, so John can ship more stuff to Sunny Floor. Um, also from Punk Rock Radar, another collaborative release with a lot of other awesome labels that we're good friends with. Um, Modern Shakes, their first record, A Bolt from the Blue, is due out on May 24th, so very soon actually. Uh, they have. Um, teal, I think it is, uh, or turquoise, turquoise and pink colored vinyl available. Again, these are both limited to 125 copies each. And Cat's Claw Records, our good friends in the UK, have cassette tapes as well uh, with matching colors that are limited to 25 copies each. Um, so yes, again, another highly recommended Punk Rock Radar sanctioned release. Um, both the, the tracks I've heard from this have been excellent as well. I'm going to add this to my cart uh, along with the other stuff I'm getting from Punk Rock Radar. Going back to the U.S., Buffalo on the Cinder. Great punk band. Uh, fun fact, Mike from On the Cinder used to play in a band called Stakeouts. Ska band. Um, yes, their new album, Heavy Handed, out now. Uh, should have told you about this a few weeks ago, probably, but I didn't. So here it is. They got five color variants. It is there's 500 copies total. Uh, if you like like hardcore, hardcore-ish punk, nardcore, check out On the Cinder. Uh, this is a good album. 88 Fingers Louie, 88 Fingers Up Your Ass. Uh, I told you about this in October, and now it's available to pre-order. Uh, and there's been some new developments, color variants. Um, there are four variants. Three are available to the public. One is a friends and family only variant that's very limited and will probably fetch a high dollar on uh, Discog should anybody uh, allow a copy to get in the wrong hands. Um, yes, so Dusty Wax Records, known for their pulley reissues, uh, is doing this. This first time on vinyl for this is a double LP and a gatefold with a bunch of new art and stuff. Uh, Dusty Wax has this exclusive variant, this like, thing they call it Eyeball, the black, and then Chicago flag for the other, uh, the second record. Loud Pizza Records in Chicago, home of 88 Fingers Blue, has this variant, uh, which I think is called Rocket uh, Pop, something like that. I, I have it in front of me, but I can't read text on my screen. Friends and Family one, and then the Indie variant, which is available from a ton of labels all over the world. Um, too many to name. Uh, yes, I got mine from, uh, from Loud Pizza. Oh, no, no, I got, a, uh, I got the one from, um, from Thousand Islands, because it was cheaper. They had this indie one. It's not my favorite one, but I, that's the cheapest one, so fuck it. Um, all right, last few releases on this week's record radar. We got Jay Prozac from the Prozacs with his new album, Obsession, uh, which... I was led to believe it was a solo album, but uh, not really. He has a lot of musicians backing him up on this, uh, as well as his last few solo albums. Um, first two singles sound great. There's four color variants, two splatter ones, the orange and the black. The splatters are pretty limited. Um, so go ahead and grab that from Rumbar Records, due out June 14th. And last up, Jason DeVore from Authority Zero. Um, 
let's go zero uh new album new solo album till the voice goes out due out on june 7th on spam records and double helix records you can also get it from people of punk rock in canada and caffeine bomb records in japan uh single from this one is excellent too very fun song um so yeah check all that out link in the description you want to buy all these records or just some of them um dyingscene.com is the place to be for the record radar so thank you as always for watching guys um probably gonna take the week off next week and traveling for work and all that fun stuff uh but we will be back again stronger than ever at the end of may for the record radar so thank you all for watching and i'll see you next time